All right, so now let's talk about flipping the classroom. And this is important to cover because this class is going to be taught a little differently than most classes you've already taken. So when I say this class has been flipped, what does that mean? It means basically we're not going to have any in-class lectures. All the lecture material you're going to watch online. And why are we doing this? Well, it's simply that lectures are passive. You go and you sit in a lecture, it's a very passive experience. You're not actually engaging stuff, you're not doing stuff, you're just listening. And active learning has been shown to be a much more effective way for students to learn. So we're trying to maximize the amount of active learning in this class. Now let's do the math to figure out, you know, see, are lectures really that passive? Because a lot of people say, I want to go to lectures because I can ask questions. So how interactive are lectures? Let's take a simple case, We've got a 90 minute lecture, and in that lecture we're going to have 10 questions. Each question is going to take three minutes. So 30 minutes of interaction in the class. That's a third of the class is interactive. That seems pretty good. Of course, it also means that we're spending a third of the lecture time answering questions. Of course, this isn't really honest here, because if you look at what goes on when we ask a question, the student talks for about a minute, and then the teacher answers for about two minutes. So most of the time, it's really not the student talking. So if we break that down, now we're down to 11% interactive, but that, that's still pretty good. There's one other little problem here. There are 30 students in the class. So that 10 minutes of student interaction is shared among all 30 of their students. So on average, in a class with 30 students, where we spend 30 minutes answering questions, the average student spends 20 seconds interacting with the teacher. That's 99.6% passive. So this is what I mean by lectures are a passive way of teaching. It's most of the time the students are sitting there passively listening to them. So can we do better with more active students? There's a great study that I want to share with you. And that was an experiment where they took 540 students in a quantum mechanics class and half of them got three hours of lectures. And these were regular lectures from an experienced, well-rated lecturer. The other half got three hours of peer instruction. So instead of receiving lectures, they were told to sit down and discuss problems, to work on problems with their colleagues in the class, and then the teacher went through the solutions to the problems. Then they evaluated how these people did on the same test after this one week. Here's how the students of the lecture did. Lower score over here is worse, higher score is better. Here's how the students with peer instruction did. They did phenomenally better. Two and a half standard deviations better from switching out passive lectures for active peer instruction. They also saw a higher attendance and students were more engaged in the material. So these results are amazing. What this says is that lectures are really bad ways to teach and that you can do much better by getting the students to be active. And that's the motivation for why we're flipping the classroom in this class. So what is this flipping the classroom idea? Well, the idea is that traditionally, you come to class and you listen to a lecture. And then you go home and you work on problems or lab assignments. And now look at how we've got things split up here. So listening to a lecture is passive. Solving problems is active. You do the active part at home, you do the passive part in class with the teacher. So this is a terrible waste of the teacher. We've got this teacher who can sit there helping you with problems, and instead you're doing passive learning. So we want to fix that. And then at home, when you're doing these active learning, you don't have anyone to help you with it. So flipping the classroom is just saying, let's switch this around. So in class, we're going to solve active problems with the teacher. So this is a much better use of the teacher. We're now in class, and we can have the teacher helping you with the problems. When you go home, you're going to listen to the lectures, which is passive, and you're doing that alone, but at least we're not wasting the teacher by having them there for the lectures. Now, what we're going to do in this class is take this one step further by adding in some fun technology. So we're still going to have active problem solving in class with the teacher, but now we're going to have interactive lectures at home. So now the lectures become active. That is, you're going to have to answer questions in the lectures and think about the material in the lectures. It's still alone, but at least it's active. There's one other thing we're going to change here. If you look over here, this is great, except we've got a whole bunch of students and only one teacher. So we're going to change this around. Instead of having us solving the active problems with the teachers, we're going to have you mostly do that with your peers. So you're going to work with the other students in your class to solve the problems with the teacher on the side to help you. So in this class, flipping the classroom has this goal of getting fully active peer teaching in the classroom to try and get you to do as much active learning as possible. So let's talk about how this went last time and get some feedback from students who did this before. You can go see the detail of all this feedback at the URL at the bottom here. So overall, the students thought it took more time teaching this way, but it was worth it. So it took more or a lot more time, but it was very worth it. So this is encouraging. 
more time, but they feel like they're learning more. They didn't like having required lectures and practice problems. They didn't like this at first, but once they started seeing that this was a good way to learn, they were quite happy with it. What they really did like was the interactive lectures. that They could rewind and review. They liked the ability to ask questions online and doing the in-class practice problems. So overall, the students thought this was a great way to run the class, and I hope it'll work well this year also. So let me give you some ideas of what students had to say about this way of teaching. So what was good about it? Students said the whole concept of video lectures is excellent. You can play, repeat, or pause. You lose the ability to have dialogue during the lectures, but you get this in the practice sessions. They really like the online lectures and love the quizzes, and happy that the problem-solving sessions in class are reasonably difficult, so they get challenged. What could have been better? So always a minimum of two questions on the quizzes, sometimes more. And they wanted to have footnotes as to why the wrong answers were wrong. So we've been working on this, trying to find the right number of questions. So we made sure we had enough questions in the quizzes and that you always get feedback on why they're wrong. Another student commented that it was mandatory to go through the lectures and in class and it doubled the time spent on the course. This student would have preferred that the teacher solves the given problems. And I understand that. It's a lot easier to have the teacher solve the problems, but I'm going to step back to this study here that says that if the students solve the problems, instead of listening to the lecture, they learn a lot better. And that's the motivation for doing this. So what are we doing differently this year to improve the class? Well, we have a better online interaction system with better student feedback. We've made improvements to the lectures and practice problems. We're improving the lab. And as always, the more feedback we get from you, the better. So please use the online system to provide feedback. Give us feedback on the practice sessions so that we can figure out how to improve the class. So a question, what are the benefits of flipping the classroom? Well, primarily the main benefit is more time spent on active learning. So that's what we want to do, get away from passive lectures and do active learning. But of course you can also pause review the lectures because they're online. We can make the lectures interactive and it's even possible the teacher will save some time, but this is less less likely. And frankly, you as a student don't care about this. You care about your time as a student. So remember, the goal here was this. Increase the interactivity to increase learning. And that's why we're teaching the class this way. 